seeing red tide come and go and the impacts over this past month have seemed almost never ending. Well, so are the questions about potential long term effects on people. Researchers in Sarasota are hoping to fill in some of those blanks. Fox 13's Jennifer Holton has the details of a new study. Red tide and the brain. Could there be a connection? The Ross Camp Institute researchers are working to get to the bottom of it. The ones we are particularly interested in are the, are the ones that are brain related. The Institute's executive director, Dr. Michael Mullen, says this began after 2018's infamous red tide season. Patients were coming to their neurology clinic complaining of neurological effects associated with exposure. It ranges from um, excess migraineous headaches, so headaches that are severe enough to take people to the ER, people that hadn't necessarily ever had headaches like that before. Um, all the way through to people complaining of, you know, brain fog and lethargy. 250 people have been surveyed thus far. They live in the Sarasota and Manatee County areas, both inland and coastal. Dr. Mullen says they haven't released much from their study yet, but they are looking close at antibody levels. One of the things we're doing is when people are being re-exposed, we're looking to see whether their antibody levels go up again. And then we're, we're correlating that with any change in neurological status. So do they get better when, they, when the antibody levels go up or does that actually make things worse? And with hundreds of tons of dead marine life during this season's bloom, there's no denying the neurotoxin's powerful force. A lot of this probably comes down to a dose effect. How much are we actually getting and how much are we getting in our bodies? And they're hoping to expand their research further inland. We want to know how far the effects go inland and how, how far you have to live inland to really not have any immunological response to it. Reporting in Tampa, Jennifer Holton, Fox 13 News. Now, prior to this study, Moat Marine and other researchers took part in a similar survey that was in the 2000s. Dr. Mullen says they found that emergency room visits from 2005 to 2009 had a significant uptick in neurological symptoms in the zip codes from people who live along the coast.